Uh, your thoughts are the max. Uh, I'm very happy, very, very happy because this season I feel like we are going to make the Champions League. We've played better than Manchester United, Tottenham, even West Ham. We've played better than them this season. So I'm very happy. I just have that confidence that we are going to make the Champions League, the top four next season. And then with the football where Arsenal they play, this is the classic Arsenal football that we all know. And how happy are you that it's back? Um, <laughs> I don't know if to even explain this. I think I'm overwhelmed. I'm overwhelmed because these young boys, they are playing back to back every week, week in, week out. They are giving us results and they are making us, at least we used to sleep well before. <laughs> uh, they, they throw us in a scatter. Nightmares. <laughs> Nightmares. Sometimes if you go sleep, you go sleep. When you wake up for money, remember say Asna, Asna lose. Remember say Asna lose the previous day, he go pay you. And you know, see, you know, if you get out now nah, to talk to other fans, they go insult you, scatter. So I'm very, very happy. These young boys, they are bringing back our bragging rights, something like that for us. And then the Bukaya Saka winning go to the that boy, the carriers now. Like, if you reason all them feel for feel folding and other young players, if that boy, they stand out as the best young player for Premier League. Uh, I think so, but. I rate Phil Foden more than him, but this season Foden has not had that. So Saka at the moment in the Premier League is currently the best young player in the Premier League at the moment. So I will not bring Foden. Who Mount? I don't really rate Mount like that. I just, I just rate Saka as the best young player in the Premier League now. And then uh, moving on to the top four is now four points ahead of United, one game in hand. Um, if any team feel lose this top four as a day like this, now nah, now. <laughs> so I don't say you know they're too confident about how how they feel. Uh, every match you they watch them with your heart, they beat. <laughs> <laughs> you know, say if you know collect three points, the other people then see the your back. Then if you just win one match, they don't pass you. Like if Arsenal now go lose to Tottenham, Tottenham if you go now win two matches, mm -hmm. you don't come on our hand again. Yeah. Just how we lose that Man City match. As we lose that Man City match for January, before we know, we find ourselves for seventh. Mm -hmm. Behind just the, like that, too. Just one match, we find ourselves for seventh behind Totti and West Ham, mind you. So we don't manage to gather the pace, cover up, pass them back. So I feel this last ten matches we have now is is on our head. If we don't go to the Champions League, me I go personally start a theta out. <laughs> <laughs> Five years is not easy, like. To be out of that Champions League for a team the size of Arsenal. Ah, five years. At least if they go one year, they come back the next year. Mm -hmm. You know, go. Yeah. Like that, you understand. But five good years, we never go. Mm -hmm. So at least more feel that Champions League vibe. Even if we come out for group stage, mm -hmm. more feel them. <laughs> <laughs> and then um, the, the, the momentum, we know say momentum matter for football. So this this um, international break now, it, it did it come at the wrong time for Arsenal with the momentum we then they now? I don't really think so. Arsenal, the way the club, they, once they win one match, they will continue to the win, they go. If you notice, I'm, even from last season, if they win one match, they will continue to the win, they go, they go like that. If you notice, they have only three draws this season, very, very minimal. So, I feel like the international break will not worry them. Coming back, I think, I don't know the next fixture they have, but I feel that it's not going to worry their momentum. All right, finally now, Ben Leno. He never played Premier League first team football for a long time, but uh, hey, wait, what did you think of his performance today? His performance was fine. He wasn't threatened. Yeah, that much. He wasn't threatened because Arsenal balanced the game with the way the midfield. Our midfield is very, very stable now because we control games. Even against Liverpool, we controlled the game. It was just that bit of experience Liverpool used. So That, that bite. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, because you know that them be like say the team did ahead. They won't win this league. They won't win this league pass even Man City safe. So I feel like we have the balance in our midfield in our game. So we control our games that much with our midfield. And I feel that going forward is a very good thing for us now. So all right. Welcome to Football Fans Tribe here with the interview Nigeria Football Fans after matches. I'll give you Nigeria Football Fans content back to back. So if you're new here, please click the subscribe button. Thanks so much for watching.